It's a holiday that tests the beliefs in ghosts and witches, but in Pleasant Run... But it, it, it's happening. They're finding there's no such thing as urban myths. The Halloween nightmare basically is... It's true. ...become true. Yes. David Stinson says he had told his kids to check their Halloween candy. Fortunately, his son was on alert when he picked up a Reese's peanut butter cup. And he opened it up and there was a razor blade sticking out of it. What kind was of your like, thought when you saw that? Oh, I was, I was, I was furious. From edible to evidence. It, it was a, a, like a box cutter razor. It had both ends. Stinson says the candy came from the same Pleasant Run neighborhood as the other two pieces of candy found with razor blades. When I popped the candy bar open, uh, a piece of razor blade fell out of my lap. A.J. Ashurst was the first in Pleasant Run to report the problem when he says his daughter found a razor in her candy. Just found a razor blade in my kid's candy. Then another neighbor says she was cut when she was checking her kid's candy. She needed stitches. Those children were all trick-or-treating as a group, but Stinson says he and his kids don't even know anyone from that group. I'm hoping they can catch this person. I mean, just the... The thought of someone to be that malicious towards kids is sickening, and I, they, they, I hope they get caught. All after a Halloween scare, now resurrected. Now, in two of the three cases, the razor blades were found in Reese's candy, just like this one. In one case, they said it looked like they pulled, pushed the blade right through the wrapper. But in the latest case, they said it looked more like they had opened it and then resealed it. So kids are still getting into this candy out here. Parents, you definitely want to check that again. Reporting live, Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5. All right.